All right, AP1, let's go ahead and let's uh, finish up our idea on complex uh, with vectors, but doing complex vectors, all right? Now, the ones you originally, uh, we originally talked about were nice, easy vectors. And remember, we use vectors uh, in place of uh, maybe velocities or forces or whatnot, all right? But what if I have something that looks like this? Um, 35 newtons, remember newtons is a force, 30 degrees north of east, while uh, we have 45 newtons of uh, 40 degrees south of east. And I probably should have put that up here. All right, so, all right, so now I want you to take a look at what this looks like on a coordinate plane. Uh, 35 newtons, 30 degrees. If I draw the picture, it's going to look like this. 35 newtons. And the other one's going to be a little bit longer. This is going to be, uh, oh, south of east. So it's going to go like that. Ah, you can't, you can't do Pythagorean's theorem, so we have to use our trig functions, all right? Now, I want you to think about what this is much like here. Think of this as uh, you are uh, taking a bunch of boxes of cake. This is a, a cake mix, and this is a cake mix, and we're breaking it up into its individual parts, like this powdered egg, powdered milk, and the flour in it, and we're breaking them down into their components, all right? Now, I want you to look at this. All vectors, all vectors can be broken down into... Uh, components, a northward component and an eastward component. So here's what I'm going to do. I want you to see this. Let's, I'm going to draw this. We're going to do each one of these separately. Uh, this is 35 newtons, north, uh, 30 degrees north of east. So watch what I'm going to do. Boom, boom, 30 degrees. And this is 35 newtons, all right? Now, this is, this, this is your vector. Oh, and I said everything can be broken into a northward and an eastward component. So here's what I'm going to do. This is the component. There's an X component and there's a Y component. This is what I'm going to do. This I'm going to find my X component. I'm going to find my Y component. i got to get my calculator out here. So using our signs, remember, if I know my angle on hypotenuse, remember that the cosine of 30 is equal to what? X over 35. Now, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So, let's see here. I'm going to make sure it's in degree mode. Mode. Yeah, we're in degree. All right. So, I'm going to do cosine of 30 times 35. And you know what I get for an answer? I get 30.3. So, that's that component. I'm going to find my Y component. So, watch what I'm going to do. Sine of 30 is equal to y over 35. All right. So I do uh, sine of 30 times 35, and I get 17.5. Now I want you to take a look at this. So the east, if I start here, eastward is 30.3, and my this I go up is 17.5. All right. All right. Now, for room's sake, I'm going to erase this. You can go by. You've got this in your notes. You should be writing this down. Let's go to the next one. All right. What does it look like? 45 newtons, 40 degrees south of east. So this is what? 40 degrees. This is 45 newtons. So here's what I'm going to do. Zip, zip. I need to find this component. I need to find that component. Well, cosine of 40 is equal to x over the hypotenuse, which is uh, 45. I want you to think about this. If you, I want you to get into the habit of this right here. We're going to see, as we go get longer, or as we go along, we won't do cosine of 40. We, what we do is we take the cosine of angle times hypotenuse. That helps us find our adjacent side. And I'm, we might do that here. And my other one is going to be sine of 40 
that is equal to y over 45. Now watch what I get here. All right, my cosine is uh, cosine of 40 times 45. So I find my x component to be 34.5. My y component, let me do it, got to do it by hand, sine of 40 equals times 45. And look at this. Now my, this is 28.9. Now watch this. This goes to the right, and then this goes to downward, all right? It's kind of like this. If you're uh, flying a plane versus driving a car, you have to take the road here. Uh, your airplane is basically, can fly as we call it, as the crow flies. Now, so my eastward component is 34.5, but wait, this goes south, all right? That goes south. I said everything could be north or east. Well, what is this? 28.9 south is still what is really what negative 28.9 north all right so what i'm going to do is add those together and i get 17 now look at this i can add all my northward components and all my eastward components together 17.5 plus uh, a negative 28.9 and i get negative 11.5 here you should get 64.8 all right now watch I'm going to erase this now what you've done effectively is taken each vector you have broken it down each vector into its components individual parts because every vector can be broken down to a northward and an eastward component right and so uh, uh, so what we've done is that. So let's. What we're going to do is now we take the individual parts. We're going to put it back into a single vector. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's the single vector. I'm always start with my eastward, the east side. So that's in my x. So watch what happens. I go eastward, 64.8. But look, I don't go. I go northward, negative 11.4, which is what downward, which is 11.4. And you know what we're looking for? Zip, zip, from beginning to end, the airplane flight. All right? So here's what I'm looking for. Watch this. So let's find our, let's find our, uh, uh, use Pythagorean theorem. let's find our magnitude. Magnitude, and then we'll find our direction. So if I apply Pythagorean theorem to this, I'm going to, you don't have to show work for this. When I talk about showing work, this is the work I'm asking for. All right? You show what I'm showing, you're good to go. So 64.8 quantity squared, all right, plus plus 11.4 squared equals root 0.5. Here's what I get. The hypotenuse is 65.8. So 65.8 newtons there. I have to find this angle. Well, tangent, make sure my, my video is showing here. The tangent of theta, I can use any one of it because I've got all three sides. I like to use the tangent. Opposite is 11.4 over 64.8. So you can use any one of those, all right? So I'm going to do second tan of, whoop, I did, a, I did the wrong thing here. I've got to put 11.4. Divided by 64.8. And I get 9 degrees, if my math is right, 9.97, actually 10 degrees. 10 degrees south of east. All right? That's the resultant. All right? So I want you to, I want you to look here. Think about this. Think of uh, if this is uh, people pulling on a rope. One pulling at one angle. This is the equivalency. But we added the vectors. We found the, uh, we found the resultant. It's all the same. All right, let's do another one. We're going to pick up the pace. We're going to pick up the pace. I'm making up one. Now, 
the process works with three vectors and four vectors. All right. So follow, 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 follow with me here. Let's suppose you have, and I make this up, 10 newtons, uh, 20 degrees south of east. And let's say we have 20 newtons, 30 degrees north of west. All right. Now, again, I should have put it right over here, let you see what I've done, and then kind of work it down here. It's okay. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to start, we got to break this down into its constituent parts, all right? Well, that, what's the picture look like? 10 newtons, 20 degrees south of east. 10 newtons. All right, so that's what I've got. So here's what I need. This is my X and this is my Y. Can I just, uh, you do your sine and your cosine. So, but you know what I'm going to do? This side is 10. Remember, cosine always refers to adjacent. What's my adjacent? This. 10 cosine 20. This is going to be what? 10 sine 20. Get into that mindset, into that habit. So always start with, so if you want to find this uh, like a, a leg, adjacent. Remember, adjacent refers to uh, the cosine. Opposite refers to the sine. So watch, watch what I'm going to do here. So what I find, uh, uh, 10 times uh, cosine 20, I get 9.4. I do 10 sine 20. And what I get is 3.4. All right. Now, watch this. This is my eastward. Oh, we got to do north. Uh, watch, watch, watch. North, east. All right. So uh, uh, the eastward component is 9.4. The northern component, where does it go? South. So it's 3.4. All right. So let's do this one. Let's break it up into its components. Remember, you whether you do two or three, it's all the same process or four vectors. It, you just follow, you do, you know, if you have three, break all three down. If you have four, break all four down, right? I'm keeping it simple for now. But on your homework, uh, there the examples uh, are three or even four, right? So this is uh, 20 newton, 30 degrees north of west. So that's going to look like that, 30 degrees. 20 newtons, all right? Now, remember, this is the adjacent side. You can do the cosine if you want, but remember, I'm, this is the adjacent side. Hypotenuse times cosine 30. This is the opposite side, which refers to sine 20, sine 30, all right? So, sine 30, times 20, and what I get is 10. 20 cosine 30, cosine 30, times 20. So what do I get here? 17.3, 17.3, and so let's put this in here. So what is my eastward component? Whoops, I made a, 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 a boo-boo here. You probably said, Mr. Dallas, Mr. I didn't. I was doing this. No, I, I wasn't doing I actually missed this myself. The eastward component was 9.4. The southward, this northward component should be a negative 3.4. So that was my mistake, all right? Uh, I would have caught it eventually because I knew, I, I made intentionally put a negative, uh, made sure there was a negative in each one of these. If you're going to have a negative in one of these if it's in this quadrant or this quadrant or a negative in both if it's in this quadrant, all right? So let's do this. My X component or my, my, my eastward component is 9.4. All right. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. My apologies. All right. This is why I didn't erase that other one. All right. So uh, here's my, uh, this is negative 17.3. All right. Because this is acting toward the west. And that's acting toward the north, which is 10. So watch this. 10, 
minus 3.4 is 6.6. .6. The next one is 9.4 minus 17.3. Now, assuming I did this right, hopefully I didn't mess this up. All right, so we're almost there. I'm going to actually switch to blue. Actually, I'm not going to switch to blue just yet. All right, so this I want to shove to the side. All right, so let's draw a picture. So what do we have? Eastward is 7.9, next up to, so guess what I'm doing? Boop, right there this way. So this is what? 7.9 this way. Then this goes up 6.6. .6. Don't worry about the negatives here because we already see it going to the west. So 7.9, 6.6. So let's do Pythagorean theorem. We can, surely you can do that on your calculator. This is AP Physics, 7.9, uh, let's see, wrong, wrong one, 7.9 squared plus 6.6 .6 squared equals to the 0.5 power. And what I get is 10.3. Watch this. The resultant, 10.3 newtons. I had to make sure it wasn't meters per second. Now I need to find the angle. Don't worry about the negatives here. That's all going to work out with the east, the south, north, the west, whatnot, okay? We're going to do one more after this. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Tangent of theta is equal to 6.6 .6 over 7.9. Now, you're only halfway done with this answer. If you have this, you only get half credit because... We have vectors require both magnitude and direction, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to do inverse tan, second tan, 6.6 .6 divided by 7.9. And what I get is 39. All right, so I get 39. Point nine degrees that's north of west now I'm going to up the ante a little bit there's what's called the equilibrium all right here here I always think about the equilibrium is this the equilibrium is what's a force that is added to it that nullifies and gives you total zero well Think about it this way. You're playing tug of war. Surely you've all played tug of war before. I did, okay? Um, by the way, we as teachers played tug of war one time. Uh, we actually would be the teachers against the freshman class, sophomore, junior, seniors. I was on this, the, 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 the teacher side. We, we beat them all, hands down, hands down, all right? Just so you know. All right. So if I'm pulling with 100 newtons this way, how do I, have you ever noticed that when people play tug of war and they're not going anywhere, it's because the force this way and the force this way are equal. So if I'm pulling 100 newtons this way and somebody's over here pulling 100 newtons this way, you know what the total, you know what the vectors, uh, what the total is? Zero. They balance each other. Well, if I ask for the, it's called the equilibrium. The equilibrium. Equal. Let's see if I can get this here. Oh, let me, uh, uh, let me, it's called, let me just go and put it in black. Equal. All right, the equilibrium looks like this, all right? I'm going to put it in red. And this is what's going to be required of you probably on the homework. You better check it. The equilibrium is the same magnitude opposite direction. So the equilibrium is going to look like this. 10.3 newtons, 39.9 degrees, but it's the opposite. This vector is going this way. The equilibrium is going this way. You know what it's going to be? 39.9 degrees south of east. In other words, if I apply this vector to that vector, you get zero. All right. And why are vectors important? Because you're going to deal with these all the way. Uh, my AP Physics 2 are uh, actually, I'm making this video now. My senior AP Physics 2, and I got a few sophomores, a sophomore and a junior, they're basically done. 
and they 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 were dealing with vectors even as early as a week or two ago. This stuff right here in our advanced physics here. Uh, I have a C level at third physics here. Same scenario. The girl is taking a calc based exam. She's using this right here. All right, for three years straight. So, all right. So what I'm going to do? We're going. I'm going to make one more up. Okay. Um, and I'm going to have you to work it on your own. So let me write it down. I want you to work it on your own. I'm not going to say anything. Not going to say a word. So here's what I want you to do. And here's what I want. I'm going to give you three vectors. Let's do this. 10 Newtons. Ooh, I like this one. Southwest. All right. 15 Newtons. 30 degrees north of west and 25 newtons uh 60 degrees south of east okay so what i want you to do you can either pause the camera right now or you can work this on your own that's what i want you to do i'm going to be silent this whole time not going to say a word so i'm going to draw this out so hope you can check one piece at a time but you need to make sure you get this right, okay? So you may want to pause right now because I'm going to start it or you want to let it running. That is your prerogative at this point, okay? So first one, all right? I'll shut up here. Got to erase this, sorry, because I want to get this in the, in the picture here. Sorry about that.
All right, I'm gonna pause you here. I want to make sure, uh, I want you to check to make sure you get these numbers. All right, if you get this wrong, you're already wrong this point forward. So you need to back the truck up and see, I just took these in order. And it doesn't matter which order you do them in, uh, but I would do them in order recommended. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna draw a picture. I'm going to the left, left, 7.6, going down 21.3. Boom, this is my theta. And then I'm gonna do the rest. You may want to silence this and work on your own here. I get 22.6 Newtons. I'm going to do my tangent of theta is 21.3 over 7.6. And here's what I get, 70.4 degrees. You may be off by 0.1, that's okay. If you get 70.3 or 70.5 or 22.5, you're, you're, you're a little bit off, you're okay. That's just a rounding error. And this is gonna be south of west, all right? That's your resultant, I, let me put R. Now my equilibrium, I'll do red. Here's my equilibrium. Let's see. Can you see this? My equilibrium is going to look like this. Everything's the same. 22.6 Newtons, 70.4 degrees. That will be set south north of east. If it says ask for the equilibrium, do it. If it doesn't ask for it, don't do it. You don't need to. Now, let me say this. This, this equilibrium, just as a final note, the equilibrium is there it nullifies in other words if i took this factor this factor this vector and combined it with this it would add up to zero i cannot find the resultant this is the simplest way to find the resultant uh guarantee i've done this for 30 plus years this is the simplest outside of using a computer uh to find the equilibrium you always have to find the resultant i cannot look at this and know what the equilibrium is because what we're doing is we're combining each of these vectors into a single vector, all right? Now, once again, this goes back to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the final touch on this, all right? So I'm gonna stop. Let me get this out of the way here. Somebody keeps emailing me here. I'm putting you guys first so they can wait, all right? Uh, this is an example of a boat in the river problem. I want you to see this. Uh, this is a very common problem. Years ago, back in the early 90s, uh, the Mississippi overflowed. I was there. I saw it. Uh, the Great Flood of 91, I think it was. It was early 90s. Take my word for it. If you have, watch this, all right, uh, water shooting downstream, here's what's going to happen. I get my boat and I point it that way. You know what's going to end up happening? I'm gonna go down, here's what's gonna happen. Even though I point my boat, this is my boat, okay? Don't laugh. Here's my boat, you know what's gonna end up happening? This boat will take me across the stream, however, this river will take me down the stream. So you're gonna end up downstream somewhere. And I saw this happen. So watch, you watch, you watch you here. Here's my, here's my river. So what they have to do is they point, I saw this. Uh, it was the Coast Guard trying to get across. The boat was literally the stream, the, the Mississippi was flowing down in Chester area. And I, I saw them. They literally had to point their boat upstream. And you know what? To get across the river, they were upstream. And they still went down, but they did this. Their boat was pointed upstream. The downstream took it, and this was the resultant, okay? So let's go back and look. Bear with me here. All right, so you remember there's some practice in here. Uh, 
you know what turn in day one when you show up this is due day one this right here is due day one and that's stuff you guys already know all right so when you show up day one uh, i don't want to hear an excuse it will do day one all right here's day two material now look what i did here i already showed you this i have answers oh it says Combine and find both the magnitude and direction of the resultant. So it doesn't say anything about equilibrium here. Do that one. That one's due day two. All right. Here's the one that's due day two. Look what I've done. Whether you can see this, I put the resultant. I put your answers here to see if you're doing right. So you have a check here. There's three vectors. Three vectors. All right. Right here. Oh, I don't know if you saw this one. 20 newtons due south. Well, that's an easy one. I'll, I'll, I'll help you here. Here's the other one that's due. This, it'll be a front and back. I have the resultant. I don't have the equilibrium on the second page, right? What if I, what if I have a vector that reads, watch. If I have a vector that says 10 newtons due south, how do I write that? Well, what's the northward vector? Negative 10. Uh, let's try that again. Northward is what? Negative 10. What's the eastward vector? Zero. I love these type of vectors. They're very simple. All right. You know what? Even if you had a vector that looked like this, uh, if you had one, you know, like the earlier sheet, let's say this is 20 newtons. This is 10 newtons due east. This is due north. If you wanted to do that like this, I mean, you can, what all you have to do is, the old method is that Pythagorean's theorem, or your northward component is 20, your eastward component is zero for that vector. This right here is zero north, 10 east. What you have is 20, 10. It's, you're really still going through the same process, all right? All right, so I'm gonna pause now. You have my email. Uh, you shoot me an email, I'll get back with you. I may ask for your phone number so we can talk on the phone, all right? Hopefully this gets you through vectors. Take care. Goodbye.